100% pure authentic author. Now in new packaging. Welcome to Not Safe for Words. I'm your host, Crystal L. Kirkham, multi-genre author, editor, and cover designer. I'm here to give you insight into the world of publishing and to help you avoid the mistakes that others have made. So stick around. You're in for one hell of a ride where I don't curb the curses. As I promised in our last episode, today I'm going to be talking about author branding. And while it is a topic that is well covered on many sites and in many places, it also seems to be a topic that is a really big mystery for a lot of people. And if you're only just getting into this whole writing thing, author branding might be something that you've never heard of before. It was quite a few years after I published my first novel that I even came upon the concept of author branding. So what is an author brand? Well, basically, your brand is what identifies you and your writing. And no matter how much some people want to deny it, an author is a part of their product. We aren't just selling our books and our words. We're actually selling ourselves. Of course, all of this begs the question, how much of your brand is you and how much is your writing? I honestly don't think anybody can answer that fucking question because it really intermingles. I don't know about you, but my writing's huge part of me. It's a part of my identity as not just an author, but as a person. I don't know what I would be without being able to write whether or not I published. Honestly, a part of your author brand is actually identifying what makes your writing unique, as well as what makes you unique as a writer. When I went into developing an author brand, I didn't do it on purpose. It just sort of developed. I mean, one thing I definitely do is my writing is all very dark, very much bittersweet type endings. And while occasionally I'll throw in the happy ever after or happy for now because the story demands it, to get to that point, I put my characters through way more torture than I probably should and I enjoy every fucking minute of it. That's my brand as a writer. That's what you can expect if you pick up one of my books. You are gonna see my characters suffering. You are probably going to get a very bittersweet ending, but you're gonna go on one hell of a journey while you're at it. That's me. That's what identifies my writing. And maybe it's not unique to me, but who I am adds uniqueness to what I do. When I go out to portray myself as an author, I try and stick very true to who I am. Yes, I fucking swear like a goddamn sailor, but who I am fits the stories I write. If I were writing children's books, it would definitely not be a good idea to be out there as an author swearing and talking about how I edit with red wine because it's just the same as using a red ink pen. Tip, it's actually not. It's just more fun that way. But um, I digress. You need to make sure that when you're presenting yourself as an author, and this goes back to the whole episode on professionalism, that it suits the stories you tell as well as being reflected in how you interact with other people, both on social media and off as an author. If you're presenting yourself as a expert in any field, better act like a fucking expert in that field and be confident when talking about your expertise. And while the basics of being a professional don't actually change, Your author brand does actually affect those interactions with others and how they're going to perceive you. So it is very important to have a consistent message on this is who I am. This is what you can expect from me. If you're using a pen name, you're definitely going to have to put a bit more thought into who your author persona is, how you're going to present yourself as a writer 
when you're on social media or doing any sort of event or just going to any book events and interacting with other authors, editors, publishers, you need to think, who am I as an author? And be true to that. The best advice I can ever give you is try to be true to yourself. Don't develop some sort of fake author persona because you might not be able to keep it up if you're one of the authors who writes under unassumed gender because your gender um, that you identify with doesn't generally sell well in the genre you're writing. It's going to be that much more important that you put really strong thought into your persona and stay true to who you are being as an author. Because when it comes down to it, your brand is uniquely you. Who you are, what you write, what people can expect from you at any given time. Now, if there is one thing I want you to keep in mind, it's that when I'm talking about what to expect from your writing, you may start thinking that some of the advice out there might be true in that you should only ever write a single genre, master that genre, write nothing else. Well, I'm not saying this is a bad line of thought. I'm also going to say it's not the one I subscribe to. This does hedge on to the topic of a different episode about trying new things and experimenting. I believe trying different types of genres is really good for expanding your abilities, even if you only ever publish in the one. Now, If you are thinking hard on your author brand and you do write multiple genres, ask yourself the very important question. Is my writing still identifiable as mine, no matter what genre I'm writing? In my case, between the horror, the science fiction, and the fantasy, the answer is yes. My type of writing is very identifiable even when I write happy ever afters. There's still very much me, my unique style, who I am. And that's where experimenting actually comes in because I know for a fact that writing happy feel good stories isn't something I'm actually good at. Lord knows I've tried more than once. It ain't happening. However, If I were able to master, let's say, the fluffy romance or a cozy mystery without all the darkness, you better believe your bottom dollar, I would highly consider writing it under a pen name. And that's a topic we're also going to get into as well, um, about when and when not to use a pen name or why it's important. But in this case, if happy fluffy things... They don't fit who I am as Crystal L. Kirkham. Now, there's a lot of popular authors out there who actually have a pen name. And everybody knows that it's their pen name. And that's fine. You see, it isn't the fact that people know it's your pen name that is an issue. Because they also know that if they're buying your novels under that pen name as a reader, they know what they're getting. And that's what the author brand is about. So even a pen name doesn't have to be a huge secretive thing if you don't need it to be. It's all about your brand, making yourself identifiable as the author who writes X and that you can expect X, Y, and Z from this author if you were to meet them or talk to them or encounter any of their social media posts or blog posts or whatnot. That's all it is. It is creating a consistent, identifiable image. And there's a lot out there that really makes author branding complicated, and it can be more complicated. But when you're starting out, or when you're not too sure what the fuck your author brand is, complicated doesn't do you any good. You need to start simple. Because once you master the basics, understand 
what is behind the whole concept of an author brand and author branding, then you're going to have a much easier time figuring out everything else that comes after that. Now, one last word for those who are still working on what the hell their author brand is or is going to be. Remember that this is an ongoing, continually evolving thing. You change. Your writing changes. And nothing's ever stopping you from 20 years down the road deciding you really want to try writing this way different genre. And that's fine. In that case, maybe consider a pen name at that point. But don't feel like an author brand is something that you are boxed into, that you are stuck with for the rest of your career because you're not. And don't let anybody ever try and tell you that once you have a brand, you're stuck with it. There is always pen names. You can do something different. And you can break out of whatever box anybody else tries to put you in. And I guess this is kind of life advice as well. Let's be fucking honest. We never quite fit the boxes people want to put us in. And so have fun out there. Whether or not you're going out of your way to intentionally build an author brand. Or you're just now starting to pay attention to what that brand might naturally be as it occurs. Do keep it in the back of your mind because it is an important aspect and sometime somebody's going to ask you, so what would you say your brand as an author is? And then you'll have an answer. And it doesn't matter whether it's created or naturally occurring. It is a very important thing to be aware of as you go about your writing career. Know who you are. This has been another episode of Not Safe for Words. I hope you found some useful advice here today. If you have feedback on this or any other episode, tweet me or leave a voicemail on Anchor FM. Don't forget to join me next time for more publishing and writing insights. Thanks for listening.